I was translating a few months uh, their letters, and both of them uh, looked to be very interested in each other. Uh, the girl was about 20, and she was from the village. Okay. She country girl. Country girl, uh -huh. yes, exactly, just simple country girl. Uh -huh. uh, she has only, her parents were divorced, uh, they lived in very poor conditions, uh, in very bad houses. Uh, so she, w she looks really, really interested in that boy. And boy really liked that girl. She and sorry, courses. how old, how old? Uh, was she she was about him? 20, she, she was about 19 that time. 19? 19, and, and he was uh, 32, I guess. 32, okay. 32, I guess. Okay. Okay. So he took courses of Russian language in Canada because he was very seriously intended and he wanted to come. He was writing huge letters, huge letters. Uh, every day, not one even letter, maybe five, six letters. So lots of my time uh, mm -hmm. were taken to translate his letters and to answer him back. Mm -hmm. and can, I, can I just ask you, we'll call the lady he's communicating with. Uh, let's call her, I, what's her mm, name? First name? Tanya. Tanya. Okay, Tanya. so Tanya. Um, she was interested in letters. She was. She was. She was. So you were talking to her and doing uh, yes, I was authentic translating. Her. Yes, I, like, I, I was calling her by phone, uh -huh, uh -huh. Uh, telling her about uh, just translating by okay. phone. So it was honest uh, translating. It was honest, honest communication. Of course, okay. I made a bit. Um, Which is rare, right? Which yes, is which is Nor rare. Normally, normally the translator doesn't care. Just few words, just uh, five, ten sentences about uh -huh. weather, uh -huh. political situation how's the day, go, day gone and that's all. And just to be clear, normally in the letter writing industry or the email industry, normally you're not talking with the beautiful lady of the picture you see on the website. Exactly. You're communicating with somebody like you somebody or maybe even a man. Even a man or old woman. Or Davushka, old woman. Yes, <laughs> babushka. <laughs> babushka. Babushka. <laughs> uh, sorry. Uh, uh, Never can be sure. And that is in the email or letter writing industry what percent? You're not talking to the woman, you're talking to a translator who's not Maybe the woman. 95 percent. Mm -hmm. Most 90, of the time. Okay, so please time. continue with the story. So it was, a, it was actually authentic communication between It you was a good communication and, and I was, yes, and and I was really caring about their relations mm -hmm, because mm -hmm. I think it will be a really good couple. Mm -hmm, and mm -hmm. I helped them much from all my heart. Mm -hmm. I helped for her to write good letters and I try these letters uh, was interest, very interesting to him to read, mm -hmm. and he was quite poetic and romantic, and he opened his soul, you know. Mm -hmm. And uh, while I was reading his letters and answering him, mm -hmm. uh, I understand his personality. Mm -hmm. He was really, really good person, mm -hmm. and he was really he, interested in that girl. Mm -hmm. So uh, he also had a brother, and his brother also was signed in agency, and he had a girlfriend in Ukraine, in Kyiv. Okay. Oh, so no. That he met through the agency. Mm, they met through the agency, but not from our agency, uh -huh. another agency. No, no. Okay. So uh, they decided to come to Ukraine to visit their girlfriends. Uh, it was before New Year, just and wanted to spend New Year parties, events together. Mm -hmm. So both these brothers came to Kiev. We met them both. I was translating. I met them from airport. Uh, the elder brother went to Kiev mm, to meet with his girlfriend and my Peter came to sue me. And uh, let me just ask you, how long had the emails been between Tanya and Peter months, going back and about, forth? Uh, uh, about five months, five, five months. six months, every day. Every and, day, and many. several letters every day. Not just like one in two, three, four, five days. And how much the agency charged per letter? Do you recall? This was m many years ago. Many years ago, the price was, I don't remember, about maybe three, four dollars per letter. Uh -huh. now, so it can be up to, now it can be up to 15, uh, sometimes mm, more. I guess so. Uh -huh. I guess so. So, so, uh, so do you, any idea how much Peter spent on letter writing in that five months? A lot of money, uh, it adds up. More than $1,000, 100%. Yes, yes. I get yes. More. Okay, okay. And uh, we met with the girl. Uh, it was a very nice meeting. They liked each other. They were communicated very good. And uh, she didn't know English so good, but she can communicate somehow. Mm -hmm. But they look to understand each other properly, you know, mm -hmm. maybe sometimes I felt they don't need me as a translator mm -hmm. because they can easily understand. Mm -hmm. And uh, I was a mature person at that moment and she was a young girl, 19 countryside girl. Mm -hmm. 
and I thought never can lie to me. I can never make mistake in this case, in uh -huh. this certain uh -huh. case. Uh -huh. She can't deceive you, you thought? Yes. Mm -hmm. And so they spent a nice week before New Year. They spent New Year party. They went to a restaurant. It was, everything was super. And then she's gone. She's gone. They make an appointment in a few hours, but her telephone was closed. She didn't come back and she didn't answer on his phone calls. I understood. I realized that something happened. Mm -hmm. He was very worried about her because he, uh, she said to him, I will go to sleep a few hours and then come back to you. He was worried. He said, maybe we called to police. Maybe she, she took taxi. Maybe driver taxi was bad. Mm -hmm. Maybe something happened on their way home. I say, were they, do you know if down. they were having intimate relationship? No, they didn't have. No? They okay. didn't have. Okay. They didn't have just like friendship. They cook together uh -huh. in the kitchen. They go to cinema, some okay. different interesting places. So they were like taking this. it really slow. Yes, yes, uh -huh. yes. And um, I knew the name of the village she was from. Mm -hmm. I took my husband, we took our car, and we went to that village. Mm -hmm. uh, we tried to find her there. We did, uh, we did find. And then her telephone was on again. She switched on telephone. I called her and I asked, what's happened? Where are you? We are worrying. We are looking for you. We are in your village. Mm -hmm. She say, oh, uh, please uh, tell him I'm sorry, but I guess uh, nothing special will be between us so he can go home. I was really shocked. Because I knew the way from Canada was too long and too hard. It mm -hmm. took about two or three days. I know he changed mm -hmm. airplanes. Mm -hmm. And it was quite expensive also to buy these tickets. And he take Russian courses and mm -hmm. wrote these letters. Brought many presents, many presents for her and for her family. Mm -hmm. And, you know, I felt very responsible for this unhappy ending. Because I feel myself guilty. I was translating these letters and I was making her letters to him more beautiful, more interesting. You know, mm -hmm. I give not only her facts uh, she asked me to write, mm -hmm. but I give my experience in life too in these letters mm -hmm. to make them more you yeah, know, you attractive. You were beating, beating yes. up the letters. Uh, yes, you understand how to make, make person, it more emotional. Yes, uh -huh. more emotional. Which is what they teach you to do at the agency yes. also, right? Yes. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So. Uh, okay. He was greatly depressed and frustrated. He was mm -hmm. shocked. I came, I remember, I was sitting with my husband in the car. I say, how I will look in his eyes, what I will tell him, that everything was in vain. Mm -hmm. And he said, what we can do? And the problem that one day before he told me that his brother has very unfortunate meeting too, the girl even left him for this New Year party. and went with her friends, so he stayed alone in apartment. Uh, both brothers stayed in different apartments at the different ends of the city. Mm -hmm. They didn't know uh, how to say correctly address. Mm -hmm. uh, nothing. Mm -hmm. so yes, they you, couldn't even take a, yes. you can't even call a taxi uh, in you Ukraine because you don't speak Russian. And say, oh, please bring me to my brother yeah. who is living on the address so, so, mm -hmm. so. I called to the owner of my agency and explained her the situation uh, because I wanted to send him back quickly. Mm -hmm. uh, I felt him like a friend, you know, he was a really good person. Mm -hmm. But my owner said, okay, okay, keep him here longer. We will try to introduce him other girls. Mm -hmm. I say, no, you don't understand. He was really interested just in this certain girl. Not in finding girl, but in this certain mm -hmm. girl. He, was he won't falling for look. Her. Mm -hmm. He was. He won't look at different girls after mm -hmm. this heartbreak. Mm -hmm. I don't think normal person will be ready to meet other girls mm -hmm. after five or six months of writing letters. It mm -hmm. was impossible. Mm -hmm. And I say, I say, I say, okay, I will, I will propose him. I propose, but he say no, never, mm -hmm. please. I don't feel anymore like wanting to meet Ukrainian girls or something mm -hmm. like this. And if they're like this and they're going to do this to me. Did, what, did she actually live in this village? Yes, she lived she did. in okay. that, she did so. in that village. 
but uh, they never see each other again. Mm, I put, I take him all his baggage uh, with my husband in mm -hmm. our car, and we brought him to the apartment of his brother. Mm -hmm. I organized the tickets, back tickets, just for tomorrow morning. We brought them to our home for evening supper, holiday mm -hmm. supper. Mm -hmm. It was New Year. Uh, he was happy, we make photos, speaking, trying to relax him, to entertain mm -hmm. him Brought somehow. Brought him into your home. Yes, so to give him some atmosphere and to show him that not all Ukrainian people and especially women are bad. Mm -hmm. There are still normal people. Mm -hmm. uh, in the morning I organize taxi, I say them bye-bye to both of them. Both of them unhappy, frustrated, angry, went back to Canada. On our way back home, this girl called me and said, you know, I'm really sorry, but I want to try once again. I say, you are not normal person, sorry, this man went. Mm -hmm. He left already, he's on his way to airport. Oh, please call him and say, he wa she was crying, she was crying, really good actress. She was crying and say, please, it was my mistake, it was my mistake, I was wrong. I thought about it, uh, I was stupid, please make some house that he can forgive me and we continue our conversation. I called him while he was in the car, explained him and he said, okay, when I come back home, we continue our conversation, I forgive her. Maybe she's too young, mm -hmm. maybe something in your head, mm -hmm. I don't know what, mm -hmm. okay. They can, um, after he came back, I was so impressed. Uh, and depressed by this situation that I uh, stopped working at that agency. You quit your job? Yes, then. I quit my job. Mm -hmm. I called next day my owner and say, sorry, I can't work like this. Mm -hmm. Because I, 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 I went through this situation. Mm -hmm. You know, I went with all my thoughts and feelings. Mm -hmm. It's a big I don't emotional. Want to yes, and I'm an emotional person. I was involved in these relations. It was my job to make a couple. I did my job, mm -hmm. but she was a good actress. Mm -hmm. hmm? Sorry. Mm -hmm. No, no, uh -huh. little, no uh -huh. seeing bugs out here in the summer. And uh, yeah. after they continue their conversation uh, for about a few months, they make an appointment uh, in Canada. She might come to him to Canada. He sent her money to make a foreign passport. I helped her, I helped her to get visa, but she failed in getting visa first time. She failed to get in, and she might go for second time for, mm -hmm. for getting visa, but she didn't want and she didn't. And he sent money for it. He sent money for uh -huh. it, of course. Uh, we again had a great scandal and fight with her. I say, you got money for visa, you got passport. Why you don't go to get this visa? She say, I don't want. Then I say, God damn you. Sorry. Bye bye. Never want to see you again. Mm -hmm. I say him also, my advice was never try again with our women. Never. A mm -hmm. uh, few months. Uh, Why he did was you very say that? Why did you say that? Because, you know, I'm, I'm a grown up person. Mm -hmm. I'm quite clever. I'm not stupid. I can see people. Mm -hmm. And such 19-year-old girls mm -hmm. lied to me, mm -hmm. and it was my mistake. I didn't see her real intentions, mm -hmm. and I felt very responsible mm -hmm. for this. Mm -hmm. And I say, you cannot be sure, never be sure. Mm -hmm. But let, let's analyze this maybe for a second. She's 19. She's 19. It's a very Just different playing woman. Tricks, of course. Just playing tricks, and from a village, very, very poor. So let's, yes. let's face it. A hundred dollars is nothing for Peter in Canada. Really, really, it's nothing. Really, okay. really. And for her, that's a, more than a month of income. Of course. So if she can get a hundred dollars, that's one month. If she can get three hundred dollars, that's three months of, of income. And maybe she doesn't have food. Maybe she can't pay utility bills or something like this. She's 19. She's not mature. She's very immature. What about a 30-year-old? Contrast that to a 30-year-old Ukrainian woman. She has years, life experience. She's course. serious. She's looking for She's a good really man. willing to make family. So why you said to Peter, never try again with one of our women? I was you, very angry. You were very angry. I was very angry and, and disappointed th in disappointed yourself. Disappointed myself. That then you I were say, I will, I will never do this deceived. work again. Uh -huh. Yes. Uh -huh. And then okay. I tried. 
Okay. Okay. Once so please again, continue. Please when continue. I tried once again and once again, and uh -huh. I see the system is the same and even worse than in my first agency, mm -hmm. then I stop for always. Mm -hmm. So okay, the, the story continues. The it story unfolds. So let's go with round two for with Peter here. What what happened there? Uh, uh, Peter. Peter met uh, himself. Uh, a Russian girl, Russian girl mm -hmm. in the internet, mm -hmm. I guess, a uh, girl from Russia, and she was quite mature, she wasn't so young. And we, they were communicating about one year by Skype, themselves, without help of any agency. Okay. And uh, he felt in love again. They trust each other. It was good conversation, everyday conversation, Skype conversation. And then they make appointment to go to Bali. Bali to, Bali, uh -huh. to get meet married. there, not oh, to, to get married, just for uh -huh. to meet Vacation. to meet alive, mm -hmm. uh, to spend two or three weeks together. At last moment, something happened, uh, and I want to tell that he bought tickets by himself and she bought tickets by herself, so he wasn't sending money to her. Mm -hmm. Something happened bad in her family, and they say, no, I don't want to go anywhere, don't want to communicate, and don't want anything. And they stopped the relations. It was real hook. Real hook, and he was depressed many months after this situation again. And then I say, you remember I told you, don't even try. And he said, yeah, I remember, but what uh -huh. can I do? I told you so. I told you. I'm like a mother <laughs> or elder sister. Uh -huh. I told because really I was caring about him.